Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and today we're going to be doing the Bring Back My Bar for sniffs. Um, I'm not going to do them in order because I got an order with a bunch of other wax and they had everything all jumbled around and it wasn't in an ice um, in those pouches yet, which I don't understand. Yeah, I live in Canada, but it gets hot where I live. Like, it gets hot. Anyways, <laughs> so they're all jumbled up, and I'm just going to pick the first one on the top, and I'll read you the description. Okay, this one is Coffee Tree. Like that. And then this is the back. Dark brown wax. Where is the description? Um, bold and sophisticated wake up to the rich... Aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. I've never smelled any of these at all, by the way. Never. Oh, okay. I'm just going to pop it out. Oh, I can't. Some of them get really stuck in there, hey? Oh, okay. That smells like coffee beans. Like, just straight up coffee beans. Alright, next is Winter Candy Apple what it looks like and it is like a green colored wax and the description is tart green apples with a sweet candy accent let's see oh okay yeah oh my gosh I can't get, I can't get it out this reminds me of like I have the lotion in my purse right now it's like if you guys have ever smelled, um, I can't get it out. <laughs> if you guys have ever smelled, um, Winter Candy Apple from Bath and Body Works, it smells pretty much exactly the same. Exactly the same. Alright, next is Spiced Pear. And then this is what the back looks like. And then, what is the description for Spiced Pear? Mm -hmm. Okay, simmered pear and plum cider entice rich vanilla wood. This one's kind of, seems interesting to me. Hmm. Okay, you get the pear. And you get, like, cider, I guess? Let's see if I can smell the bottom. Oh, yes, come out. Come on. Some of these just do not want to come. There we go. Got it. Huh. I shove it like right in my nose. Um, this one. I like this one. It's like pear, but then you get a little bit of spice. Like, you know how like it's not too spicy, but like, you know, Welcome Home is like really balanced. Like it doesn't smell like Welcome Home. It smells like pears, but yeah, balanced. I like that one. Alright, next one is tomato vine, which, there we go, and then, that's what it looks like. So, I know a lot of people are like, ew, gross, and some people are really excited about it. Alright, so it is an in essentially earthy, summer scent, robust, ripe tomato vine. Let's see what it smells like. Woo! Strong. Oh my god, okay. It smells straight up like a tomato vine. Like you're in the greenhouse getting tomatoes. Smells just like the tomato vine. Like it smells really strong on the top right here. Then get it out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Woo. Even on the bottom. Um, for me, I don't know if I'll put it in my Scentsy Club, but I'll probably get more of it because it reminds me. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, even now, I love tomatoes. Like, just love them. I like it. I don't know how my house to smell like it, but my mom might like it. Alright, next one is pink tulips. That's what it looks like. It's got a light pink wax. Scent description is... This would be easier if it would have been in order, but I didn't feel like sorting them out. Okay. 
treasure this groundbreaking blossom and a fragrant homage accented by crisp apple, juicy raspberry, and a hint of night blooming jasmine. All right, let's smell it. Hmm, smells light. What does it say? Raspberries. I pick up raspberries and then like that jasmine. Whoops. Um, it smells nice, nice and light, a nice light floral. Um, I don't know how it's gonna perform, honestly, because it's very, very light. But you never know, right? All right, next is root bear, <laughs> root beer barrel. That's what it looks like. This is the wax, a nice brown chocolatey wax. All right, scent description is. A frothy mug of root beer. This is just um, off of Scentsy's website. I've heard other descriptions that have ice cream in there. I don't know. I just took this right off the Scentsy website. I'm going to give it to my customers and then I can circle the ones they like. That's just what I did. So there's probably different descriptions that have extra words. But Ooh. Okay. Ooh. It's just like that fizz. Like that root beer fizz. Like, you know, like. Okay, for me, it's like um, a mix of a and W root beer and Barg's root beer. It's got that bite, but it doesn't smell exactly like Barg's root beer. It's got that a and W root beer in there. Mmm, it smells so good. I don't know how this is going to smell like melting in your house, but I can't get this one out. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Oops, everything's falling. Anyways, <laughs> okay, next is Huckleberry Sage. So it is got the purple front. And then it's got, like, a light green back, which I think is awesome. All right, what is the scent description? Okay. Like finding an unexpected winter berry patch, tart ruby cranberries and sweet purple huckleberries dusted with silver sage. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what it's... Oh, my God, these are hard to open. Ooh. Oh, I don't want to break it. I can't get it out. Can't get this one out either. Okay, let's see. What do I smell? Cranberries. Oh, it's like, I don't even know. It's very nice. I get like the cranberries, which I like, and like the huckleberries. And just a little bit of whatever the silver sage smells like. Okay, it smells light though. This one's nice. This wasn't really what I was expecting. Like, when you see sage, I thought it would be, like, super, like, spicy. I don't know. That's just what I thought. What do I know, right? Ooh. Okay, next, salted caramel cupcake. This is what the back looks like. Like a light brown. Or not light, but like a you know, brown. Whatever. Y'all can see. Well. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Not everyone can see, but you know what I mean. Oh, goodness. All right. So this one is creamy golden caramel with hints of cocoa and delicate pink sea salt crowns a buttery cupcake. Hope I didn't offend anyone by saying that. I know not everyone can see because I work with people with disabilities. I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, I'm going to sniff this. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. Yes. It smells like... You get the salted caramel. I get mostly salted caramel with a tiny bit of cupcake. I want to see how this is going to melt. I'm excited about this one. Alright. What's next? Quiver. This makes me laugh because Patricia did a great description of it. Oh, sorry. Quiver. And then the back is kind of like a... I don't know. Whatever that color is. A light fever. I don't know. Anyways. The description is, okay, innocent vanilla flower, warm sandalwood, and sultry night-blooming tuberose create a seductive scent. Okay, let's see what this smells like. Okay, what do I get? I get, like, right away I get, like, sandalwood and then a little bit of vanilla. 
Okay, this reminds me, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. This reminds me of satin sheets, but not like exactly like satin sheets, but like that, you know, kind of like, hmm. It's got a whole bunch of bubbles in it. Tons of them. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, Kate. I swear this could be like a woman's, like, like a, not older, whatever, an older mature woman's like um perfume that's kind of what it reminds me of i don't know it's not horrible but i'm not a fan all right melon and apple granita i'm excited about this one it's front the back is like kind of like a light peachy color it's really pretty melon apple granita crisp apple and sweet melon surge with sparkling citrus I'm excited about this one. I think this is, I don't know, I've never smelled it before, but I think it might go in my sense cup. Ooh. Mmm. Okay, I get that. <laughs> I like this one. So it's like crisp apple, you get the melon. I don't get too much citrus, like personally. Like when I think of citrus, I think of like, I don't know, Blue Grotto, Sun Crisp Citrus. Man, I cannot get these out. Out. Ooh. Get more melon and apple. Mm, this is gonna be like a good fruity scent, like a like very. If you like fruity scents, I think you're gonna love this one. Mm, and apple scents. I can't wait to melt this. I cannot wait. I might do a melted review. I have trouble with that. I can't even. Um, I don't know how any of y'all, or if you're still watching this, if you do videos, if you watch videos, I don't know how people do hauls. Cause my customers are crazy like i love them they're like banging on my door like where's my order i'm like you ordered it four days ago go get it to you so that's why i haven't done any hauls so anyways moving on now he missed that's what it looks like the wax is a pretty like turquoise blue i guess light i don't know anyways me and my said descriptions now i miss okay creamy bouquet of rose lilac wood and musk Drivel, drizzled. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not gonna even edit this. Drizzled with creamy vanilla. I don't know why they call it Maui Mist. Mm. I don't know why Scentsy does the things that they do. Do you guys know? No? That's not what I was expecting. Okay, I smell lilac and vanilla. I'm gonna see if I can pop this out. I think my, um, my mother in law would like this. Okay. Smells like light. I get definitely get the lilac and the vanilla. I guess the rose would be in the background. This would probably be light. If you have like um anyone who likes like florals, or if you like florals yourself, you'd like it. It's not bam in your face, but it's like a nice light floral. I don't know why they call it Maui Mist. Like I was expecting like beach. Even though I already read I'm pretty sure I read the scent description. Anyways, moving on. Next one. Cherry almond pie. So it's red on the front and then it's got the white wax. All right. So this is Orville's favorite dessert, which is our founder, big guy, him and Heidi. Anyways. Okay. Graham crackers, sweet almonds, cr sweet almond cream and cherries. I like when they do like the front to one color and then the wax a different color. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll Woo! Okay, get almond right away and cherry. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my god, I can't get these out. Okay, moving on. So, I get almond and cherry, bam, like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like this one, straight up and honest. I don't think I'm going to like it. I'm not, I'm not going to hate it, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, next, Lux Vanilla. And again, it's got the blue front. The light blue white back lux vanilla what does that smell like oh my god i cannot find it ah uh, there it is soft tones of mu musk cyclamen and jasmine blends with the delicate s oh my god the delicate scent of vanilla can't talk today i'm interested to smell let's see what this smells like That wasn't what I was expecting. 
That wasn't what I was expecting. Okay. What the heck? Yeah, it's floral. Okay, with the jasmine. And the vanilla. I'm gonna see if I can smell the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh, these flowers are suckers. Like, I cannot get them out today. Okay, I'm gonna break it. I don't know. You get, like, the jasmine, the vanilla. I don't know. I don't think I like this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to melt it and see. I'm not sure about that one. It wasn't really what I was expecting at all. It doesn't really smell like, like, there's vanilla in it, but it smells like something like, not baby powder, but it reminds me of something like a baby would, a baby smell. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nuts. All right. <laughs> Moving on again. Uh, next is my only sunshine. This is what it looks like. The yellow wax. All right, so let's see if I can find this in the description. That's what I was trying to do before I started. Where is it? There it is. Start your day with a smile as you experience golden tuberose and jasmine balanced by sandalwood, vanilla, and glowing amber. I've heard good things about this one. Oh my god, these are hard to open. Oh my goodness, I might have to cut this off. This video in half, because... Hmm. Ooh. This is nice. Okay, so what do I get? Oh my god, where are the notes? Where are the notes? I get, like, tuberose. With vanilla and a little bit of amber. It's not overpowering. I think I get... Ooh. And it smells like, like, happy. Like, not a, like a happy scent. Like, I get, I guess what, I get, I guess, I get why they, um, named it My Only Sunshine. Is it, like, nobody knows what sunshine smells like, but it, if sunshine had a smell, it would be close to that. Alright, next is Spiced Grapefruit. So, so it looks like the back is, like, a light, light orange. It looks kind of peachy in the camera, but. All right, scent description. Mandarin and bergamot. Citrus perfectly balanced with spicy, coriander, nutmeg, and allspice. Ugh. Allspice kind of scares me. I don't mind grapefruit. Oh, okay. Nope. I get grapefruit. I get um, coriander, allspice. Oh, I don't know. It reminds me of fall, but like, reminds me kind of... Ooh, oh, okay, the bottom. <laughs> oh Reminds me, I'm not trying to be rude, people probably love the scent. Reminds me of like really spicy potpourri. Now my thing, um, I think a couple of my customers might like this, but not for me, not for me, not for me. All right, moving on. Give it me passion flower. So what's that? It's like a blue turquoise kind of color. This one I'm excited about just from the scent description. So a luscious lua of dewy passion fruit, fresh cut mango spears and wild hibiscus will conjure an evening at an exotic island soiree. I like how some of the descriptions are so fancy and then some are like a frothy mug of root beer. Um, this is from the, well not the website, um, the workstation if you're a consultant. Anyways, let's get smell and give me passion. Give me passion flower. Oh, yes. Okay. You get the passion flower, hibiscus, mango. I love that. Like, oh. Mmm. Okay. I cannot wait to melt this. This is so good. This is going in my sense club. Yep. In the sense club. July 1st. Black current bubbly. Oops. Current looks like. And then the back is like, um, I don't know, like a light pinkish reddish wax. Champagne bubbles stir black currant, sweet orange, and vanilla sugar. Ooh, okay, I get, the, I get bubbles right away. Yeah, bubble, like it. Yep, like it reminds me of like champagne, obviously. And then, um... 
a little bit of orange in there. It's supposed to be orange. And then vanilla sugar. Um, I don't know. I wonder how this is going to smell when it melts. Come on, I want to get to them. Some of these buggers, if it's hard to get out. Okay, yeah. The bottom reminds me of, like, champagne with some orange in it. I don't know. This is good. I don't think I'll put it in my Scentsy Club or anything like that, but it's good. All right, I think I'm going to do one more, and then I have to mash some videos together because it's going to cut me off. All right, next, Watermelon Patch. I'm super excited about this one. Sweet Vine Ripened Watermelon. See, that, that's like four words. Okay, no, it's good. My face is like, eh. Okay, this reminds me, like, this is candied. This is not, like, a juicy watermelon. This is candy watermelon. My daughter has Scout the Dragon, and it has what a, what a watermelon or whatever the scent is. I like that one. I can't get this out. This is, like, a candied watermelon. It's not bad. I thought I was going to put it in the Scentsy Club, but I don't know. I'm going to just see how it melts. Then we'll see. All right, next autumn sunrise i'm gonna try and do this one quick and then i'll pause the video and do the next i think there's five or six left autumn sunrise oh so it looks what that looks like and then the back is kind of it's an orangey color it looks peachy there all right autumn sunrise a warm blend of tart pomegranate raspberry nutmeg and spiced cinnamon stick pairs perfectly on with can't talk perfectly with chilly fall mornings I wonder how this one will smell. Okay. Okay, this one. I like this one. With the pomegranate and the spiced cinnamon stick, but it's not like kabam for me. Can't get this one out either. Like spiced grapefruit was like bam! Spice like right in your face. This one is very well bend blended. Kind of like, I'm going to say it again, welcome home. Very blended, not kabam in your face. Alright, I'm just going to pause this video. Oops, things are falling everywhere. I'm going to pause this video quick and then I'm going to continue on. So I'm going to put the videos together. All right, one second. All right, hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, second, the I'm trying to get through the next few ones quickly because my camera likes to do crazy things. So the next one is Cottage Garden. So that's what it looks like. And then the back is like, like a really light, almost yellow. Like it's really, really light yellow. Cottage Garden. All right, scent description. Blend of uh, sweet white honeysuckle, morning glory, jasmine, lily of the valley, and rose. So, floral. Woo! Yep, floral. Oh, I can't open. I can't get. No, I'm not going to bother to get this one out. Yep, if anyone you know, like, if anyone you know, if anyone you know likes florals, love it. It's powdery. They're going to love that one. Ooh, wild black cherry. So it's like that. And then we got the purple wax. And then the scent description is a sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old fashioned black cherry soda. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It smells like a cherry soda, like a cherry Coke. I like cherry scents for the most part. Mmm. These suckers are stuck in there. Yeah, you get you get like you know the black cherry and then the little bit of coke. Ugh, I'm gonna. This might be Scentsy Club. I don't know. I'll have to see how it melts. Nowhere to put anything anymore. Wax bars everywhere. All right, so we got four left. All right, simply vanilla. That's what it looks like, and it's like kind of like a cream colored back. Scent description is. It's been helpful if it was in order. Who's this? Let's see. All right, some, uh, a pure fragrance of classically warm vanilla. Very simple, straightforward. Open up. Yep. Yeah, it smells like a light vanilla to me. Um, I think this would be a good mixer. Everyone's like, oh, like, I don't think I'd pick it. Like, I'm going to use this bar and give it out to customers and stuff to smell, but I probably won't order that one. Flirtatious. That one? Ooh, it's, it's a pretty pink wax. The scent description is 
A fruity and vibrant, a combination of green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. I think it's this one I've heard. It's like a dupe of something. I don't know, like a... Ooh. Okay. This reminds me of like a... Um, body spray or... Maybe not a body spray, like a um, woman's... Oh my god. You know what I'm trying to say. I, th I thought I heard it was Juicy Couture or something. This is nice. I like this. This would be good. Like, I think this would be good in the body line. Like I do. I think people would like it. Anyways. Next is Cutie Pie Cupcake. It looks like that. And then the backs. The backs. I cannot talk today. The back looks like that. Like a light yellowy cupcakey kind of color. All right. I was excited about this one too. Okay, so scent note. Sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing. Oh, okay, this is good. Scentsy Club. You get that tangerine. You get that cake. If you love bakery and you love like tangerine-y, cakey smells. Oh, yes. This is going in my Scentsy Club. Yep, yep, yep. All right, last one is Cambridge, and it's that, um, that gray, and it's gray wax as well. I've heard this is a popular men's scent. Scent description, sweet lemon, pine needle, and intriguing dash of vetiver. Can't tell. Ooh, I like this. I was kind of worried about the pine needles. I think my husband's going to like this. Was this in the body line at one point in time? This would be great in the body line for men. Mmm. So good. Alright, that's all of them. So I'm just going to quickly tell you my favorites. I'm going to go with um, Gimme Passion Flower. I think that's going to go in my Scentsy Club. Spice Pear. Um, I don't know if I'll go in my Scentsy Club. I'll see how it melts. I like that. Those are two. Um, and then Cutie Pie Cupcake. Scentsy Club. Black. Black, black, oh my god, wild black cherry, love it. Probably gonna go in my Scentsy Club, that's four right there. Oh my goodness, there's wax everywhere, everywhere. Uh, melon, apple, granita. I think this will go in my club as well. I'm just gonna melt it and see. And then where are the other ones that I really liked? Um, Huckleberry Sage is good. It's falling. Huckleberry Sage. Oh my god, this is... And then, um, I liked Flirtatious. That one's good. And the Salted Caramel Cupcake, I think, is going to go. I have wax falling everywhere. Salt. Oh, my goodness. Salted Caramel Cupcake, I think that's going to go in my Sense Club. I'm going to try and do a warm review. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. My next video is going to be empties. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.